Hey everybody, we are going to be doing a leopard tumbler today and we're going to be doing it with a black and gold fade or ombre, whichever you want to call it, it's called both. But anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today and you wouldn't believe I'm having problems with my iPad. It's wanting to slide off of the stand. I looked up and it was just slowly sliding down. So I've, I've got it rigged with some tape on each side. So maybe that'll keep it from sliding. I don't know. It may fall completely off. But if it does, we'll just deal with it and go on. But anyway, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. Now, our glitter that we're going to be using is uh, from Black Bear Glitters. And it is. Uh, we're going to be using a black that is cold. Creek Mine. It's a beautiful, beautiful, I don't know if we can get it where you can see it really good or not there. I think you can see it a little bit better. But anyway, it's beautiful. And we're going to be using our Champagne Wishes. I've used this a lot, but it's just a beautiful goal that works with a lot of things that you want to be doing. And then remember, I always make you a trusty card um, put on there. Uh, I always put on there the colors I use, the name brand that I use. And that way, if I'm ever asked to go back and um, remake a tumbler, then I've at least got some guidelines as to what I used to go by because I don't remember always. You know, it may be six months down the road and I've forgotten what I used. So that way I can go back and use some of the same things. So, and the tumbler that we're going to be using is from Southern Palmetto Stainless Steel Tumblers and Supplies. And this is a 20 ounce. And as you can see, I've gone in and sort of done the, um, the ombre, the fade with the black and gold paint. So that's going to be where we're going to start. And I'm going to turn you down. And we're going to get started. We're going to be doing uh, our glitter. And we're going to be doing the epoxy method. So I'm going to turn you down. And then I'm going to see if I can get you pulled up on my computer. So that we can go forward from there. Maybe this won't fall completely off the stand. So we'll see. Okay, now let me see if I can get you pulled up. Uh, give me just a minute. Earlier today when I did a live, it took a while for it to, with the lag, for it to come on. So we'll see what it does. Let's go in and see if we can get it pulled up. But the Southern Palmetto is a um, new vendor that we have in the group, and they are running a um, special uh, right now in our group. So if you'll go in and look for that, you might get in on that special and save yourself some money. So, and I think probably Edwina is going to try to be on here with us today. So if she's on here while I'm doing the live, she can uh, pin her information uh, to the live and if black bear glitters on here then they can pin their information to the live so we'll go from there now I see the pencil tumbler coming up but I don't see anything on this yet so um, it looks like we can pretty well see what's going on so I'm gonna go over some of the things that I did I always most all the time tape the bottom and the top of my tumbler off I do that first and then I go in and sand it and clean it and then I went in and I did the black spray paint and the gold spray paint to do an ombre look uh, I try to always paint my cup to blend with the color of glitters that I'm using because you get much better coverage and it also saves on your glitter. Um, it's very forgiving because, you know, if you've got some spots that you didn't get, that you missed, that really helps cover those spots up. So what we're going to start with, we're going to start with um, our epoxy method. And remember, I measure with spoons. I'm old school. But to do the epoxy method, I only use one eighth of a teaspoon of A and one eighth of a teaspoon of B. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now let me get my wax paper down. So if I make a big mess, it's not going to at least get on everything. And let me look again, see if I can get everything pulled up. Um, maybe we can. Give me just a minute and we'll look one more time. 
I really like to try to get it to come up so that I, and I don't know what people do that it just pops right up every time they do their live, but mine doesn't do that for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I'm going to have to get somebody that knows a lot more about it than I do to help explain that to me and explain to me maybe what I am doing wrong that it's not popping up when we need it to. Well, I keep seeing the pencil tumbler pop up, uh, but this one's not. So we're just going to go on, and I cannot see if it's pausing, and I'm sorry um, to go back if I need to and sort of pick up. But when I watch it to answer the questions uh, that you may have, I can go in then, and um, if I have to, we can do it over and try to make it work. So. Uh, we'll go from there, and uh, the amount of epoxy that I use, uh, I'll be using one eighth teaspoon of A. Well, I'm putting in B now, but one eighth teaspoon. And I see the main thing that I see tumbler makers, new people that starting out, the mistake that they make is putting too much epoxy on their cup when they're doing the epoxy method. And it just really gives them, um, it distorts the glitter because it makes it look slick in spots. And then you can actually see the glitter well in spots. Uh, they put too much on there doing the epoxy method. And then they have to keep piling glitter on. And then when they do that, then it doesn't spread evenly and it looks chunky and cloggy looking rather than smooth so uh, if I can help you with anything it would be when you do the epoxy method don't put too much epoxy on your cup if you'll use this very little amount then when you do your tumbler you'll have a lot better results and if you will heat your tumbler with your heat gun and get it warm before you actually put your epoxy on there, then it's going to make that little bit go a long, long way. And it will spread much, much better. I'm getting me a baby wipe now. And um, we're going to set our timer uh, for two minutes. And I know that seems like a lot of time to stir this little bit, but sometimes when you're working with a little bit, um, you have more of a problem mixing it than you do when you're working with a lot. But always do that and make sure you mix it well. A lot of times that's the main thing that uh, makes your cup stay tacky. There's so many things that can cause the cup not to cure properly. And that's one of them, not mixing it properly. Uh, not getting your ratios correct. Um, where you live, the temperature, the humidity. There's so many things that can make epoxy act different for you that might work fine for me uh, until you just learn the niche of what you've got to do to make it work in your area and your work area. Um, I work, my studio is in my basement. So um, when I come down in the mornings, it's really cold usually in the winter time in the summertime now uh it's a good temperature i mean constantly but in the winter time when we've had cold mornings like we've had recently um it is really cold when i come down here and i don't want to i will not leave my heater on during the night so i have to come down and turn my heater on and let it get warm while i'm having my coffee and getting woke up good in the mornings course I'm an early bird so I'm up pretty early but I try to have a work schedule and not work 24 7 uh, I try to stop at a certain time and I will answer some questions and do some things in the evenings but I like to try to have time that's me time family time hubby time and um, make it go much better okay that's our two minutes now, since we've hit that two-minute mark, I'm going to try one more time to see if I can get you pulled up on my computer. And um, 
just make sure when I start doing the glitter that you can see what I'm doing because I want you to be able to see that when we do our glitter ombre. Um, let me see now if we can get it to pop up. Well, I don't think it's going to come up. I don't know why. Don't have a clue, but it's not coming up. So, uh, best I can tell, you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And this is a silicone stir stick that I'm using. I had always been one that I thought popsicle sticks were the only thing to use because that's what the uh, makers of the epoxy always put in with your order for you to use to mix with. Well, I got this from Black Bear Glitters and I love it. Uh, it does cut down on the bubbles and um, I clean it every time I use it and I can use it over and over and over. So that works for me. I still use popsicle sticks if I'm using and mixing several different colors like for a galaxy or a beach tumbler or anything where I'm using a bunch of different colors that I have to mix for mica or anything like that so they still come in handy okay now I'm gonna heat my tumbler with my heat gun so it's gonna be loud for just a little bit so just bear with me know if you can see but there's just very very little epoxy in here so we're gonna let it run down a little bit and I'm just sort of dabbing it all the way around that way I can show you that that's the amount of epoxy that I'll be using and you can see where I heated it it makes it just glide go all the way around and then you start blending it over your whole cup making sure you've covered your whole cup. I want to make sure where I tape it I get around the top good where that tape is. Rub it all on the bottom where I tape the bottom. I want to make sure I get it there good. And like I said, this is going to be a leopard print. We'll do the glitter today, and then we'll let that cure. It doesn't take it an awful long time, usually four or five hours. Um, you use such a little amount of epoxy that then what I do after I get the glitter on, get the epoxy on, then I brush it off after it's cured and get the excess glitter off. And when I get that excess glitter off, then I put on... Um, a coat of epoxy and once that cures then we'll come back and we'll put our leopard spots on here and I've got a couple of different kind of spots I'm going to show you uh, this customer asked for the black leopard spots so that's what I'll be using on hers but uh, somebody else was saying something about a different kind of leopard spot so I'll show you that one too and you always want to do what your customer wants um, about the only time I try to steer them different is if it's something that I know I've done that doesn't work, uh, that I don't feel like they'll be happy with. Okay, now I've got that covered all the way around, and you can see just that very little amount of epoxy, and I've still got as much in here as I used. So I'm gonna get rid of that, and now we're gonna start with our I'm going to do the black first, and start it around the top, and I'm going to leave a space. As you can see, I'm leaving a spot right here.
and I'm sorry I cannot see the screen at all. I can't see any comments at all. I apologize for that, but I, I don't know what to do. It just will not pull up. And I'm hoping Edwina's on here and maybe Papa Bear's on here so they can help with any questions that you've got because I can't see the comments. We'll go down just a little bit further. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back in my container. I guess I better take that top off to get it in there. And that, you can, I don't know if I can get the camera where you can see it or not, but it's just, well, it's just so pretty. And that is Coal Creek Mine. Beautiful black. And we will be coming back to it, so I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to put some in this little cup because I'm going to be mixing the gold and the black together. Starting around the bottom, just like we did when we did the black. Move my way up. And I'm going to do a little bit further up with the gold because we want to make sure our leopard prints. That's where we're going to put our leopard prints. So. We want to have enough room to make them pop. Don't want to bounce it too much because I don't want to get the black in my gold. As you can see, that's beautiful too. Wish I could see it on the screen so I could see what it really looks like when I show it to you. Get this one back in the container. Okay, now I'm going to mix some gold in with the black. And we're going to stir it and see what it looks like. I need a little bit more gold in there. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to hold this up really, really high and just you can see the spot in there that I left with nothing on it. And I'm going to hold it up really high where I've mixed it. And just put it on a little bit at the time because I want to make sure I can see where it's going. I'm going to get it around the middle first. Just a little bit at the time. Okay, now what I'm going to do, you can see where I've got it around the middle. Now I'm going to start just holding it up and letting it fall from the top. Don't 
dust it off. Then I'm going to hold it in the opposite direction. Let me go ahead and put what I've got in here back in my cup. That way we won't run out when we get midstream. Now we're going to hold it this way and let it fall. And I'm starting up in the gold so that as it falls, it'll be falling from the gold and make it blend even better. And you have to be patient when you're doing this. back around from the top again and I'm going to go up just a little bit higher on the top this time what I'll do when this is dry then I'll go in and any loose glitter that's on there I'm gonna take a brush and just barely brush it and brush it off one more time around that middle This is how I lay down any glitter. This is fine and ultra fine, so it's not really gonna stick up an awful lot, but this is the easiest way to get any glitter if you're doing chunky or whatever you're doing, lay down, is just roll it on your wax paper or on parchment paper. Parchment paper really works better, but, um, you use what you've got. We'll take another look at it in just a minute. Let me get some of this out of the way so I'm not going to throw it everywhere. This morning I went upstairs and my husband told me I was just sparkling all over. And I said, well, I did something that I always tell everybody on the tutorials not to do. I had my heater on under my table, and I started using a very fine glitter. And when I did, it just went everywhere, everywhere. Now this, I'm not real happy with some of these spots in here. So probably what I'll do is spritz it with some uh, hairspray. Let me go get my hairspray. And that way we can do it right now, and I can show you how it works. I know I had somebody say, well, who would have thought that Aquanet would have made a comeback doing tumblers? But now I saw uh, a lady on uh, Mr. Nola's use Aquanet. And uh, I tried it and it works. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray this middle around here so to get just a little bit more tacky on it. This uh, right in here, there's a little bit more of a line than I want there to be. So that's what I'm going to work on. It doesn't take an awful lot. And I like this because you can spray it inside and it's not going to cause a lot of problems. So let's see if we can now. Get some of that looking like I want it to. And 
and there's very few things you can't fix. Uh, sometimes I have had to strip a tumbler a few times, but I try to do something with them so I don't have to. It's not fun, and I know y'all know it's not fun stripping tumblers. And I put a short video on my YouTube channel showing how I strip them. If uh, any of you want to look at that, I don't wrap mine in uh, paper towels and uh, then put acetone on them. Uh, I take a jug. Yeah, that looks much better. I take a, a jug and put about an inch of acetone in the bottom of it. But now you've got to make sure you've got a good jug that it won't eat through. And uh, then I just set my tumbler down in it and screw the lid on it. And um, within 24 hours, most of the time, uh, anything on there other than the paint falls right off. The paint, you're still going to have to rub it some. Okay, there's our ombre. And what we're going to do now, we'll let this dry. And like I said, when it dries, then I'll take my trusty brush. This is the brush that all I use it for is just brushing glitter off. And I'll use that and just lightly, lightly rub it on there to get some of that excess off. And once I do, then I'll put a coat of epoxy on it. And then when we come back for part two, that's when we'll put our leopard prints on it. So I hope this was where you guys could see it. Um, I'm just, if it doesn't, when I view it, well then we'll do a do-over. It won't hurt. It's just no big deal. It's a tumbler and we can make another one. So anyway, y'all have a great weekend and I'll talk to you then and I will schedule you when we're going to do part two. So I'm not sure we may do part two Monday night and then again we may do part two sometime during the day Monday so that we can do something new on Monday night so anyway y'all have a great great weekend talk to you later bye hey everybody we're going to be finishing up our uh, black and gold leopard tumbler tonight and um man my lighting's messing up again but anyway uh, we're going to finish it tonight and i'm going to turn you down and we're going to talk about what we're going to be doing we're going to put the leopard prints on it and we're going to put the name on it and we're going to put the name on it with htv and we're going to press it on there with a cute little iron so i'm going to turn you down and then i'll for the ones just tuning in i will turn you down and let you know the steps to get to where we are at this point and then remember, when I do lives, I don't answer questions. I go back after the live or either tomorrow, and I'll answer any questions that you've got. So please be sure and just leave any questions that you've got. And I'm back with my phone tonight, so we'll just cross our fingers that it doesn't start acting up. So, And then I'll see if I can get you on my computer so I can make sure everything's in line. So I'll turn you down. Now, let me see if I can get you pulled up on my computer right quick. And then we'll be ready to go. We have got a glitter sale to go to tonight. Black Bear Glitters is having their first live, and they're going to go over their glitters and explain it and go over some other things that they carry. So they'll be doing that tonight. And um, let's see. Here we go. See if we can get it pulled up. I think maybe we're here. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Pulled right up. Okay. Now, um, this is the tumbler that we are going to be working on. And I take the top and bottom. I prepped it. And then I painted the bottom gold and the top black. And I did it with an ombre with the paint. And then I put the glitters on with the epoxy method and did uh, our fade or ombre. Some people call it a fade and some people call it an ombre. And uh, so what we're going to do now, uh, she wanted the name done in white glitter. And I did not want to do uh, a reverse weed and do the glitter that way. Um, so I did it with... Uh, HTV vinyl so that's what we're going to be using and she is right-handed so we're going to be taking it from bottom to top and um, 
Let me get that on there. We're going to put this on first. And then that way we'll know where to put our leopard prints around it. Now the HTV is, um, this backing on it is sort of sticky anyway. So that sort of helps hold it in place once we get it lined up. So this is where we're going to put it. I'm just going to press it down. And you can see how I've got it on there. And then I've got this cute little iron. I got this at Joann's. Uh, it's a little heat iron, and that's what I use when I'm doing my HTV on tumblers. And it works really, really well. And we'll just press this on there. I'm going to put this on first before I put the leopard prints on, and that way I know exactly where to put the leopard prints. Because I don't want them interfering with the name. And I just keep rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And this has, um, it goes up to a setting of number four. And you can see with that little point, you can just get anywhere you need to be. But you don't want to run off of your backing now that you've got on there this protective backing because it will mess up your epoxy. Make sure we got all of it on there. Press down. And I'm pressing pretty hard with my pan. Okay, we'll see if that's enough. And if it's not, we'll go back and do some more. Oh, wasn't enough right there. Let me do it again. Now this is um, Cricut vinyl. Uh, I didn't have time to order any white glitter vinyl to do this, so I had to use the Cricut. So I ran to Walmart, and would you believe they actually had it without me having to go to Carrollton or Douglasville. But I knew if I tried to do it with a reverse weed, and do the epoxy and put the glitter on that then it was still possibly going to get some of that white in all of this black and gold and I did not want that didn't want it to get in there I figured it wasn't sticking good didn't want it to mix so I think this is going to work out good I hope That is coming up just a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it off because I'll use my heat gun and work with it to get it down on there a little bit better. Some places it's stuck really, really good, and then in some it's not. But we're going to make it work. Okay. Yeah. You can see that. Now I'm going to take my heat gun and I've got a little, this is one of those, it, it came with the little clippy mitten things and I cut one side off of it. So I just have one side when I was getting it hot to press it down when I use um, the HTV on the cups and it works really well. So y'all excuse the noise. Press it down some. Then I'll go back and hit it with the heat gun again. And I could have just put this on there all the way that back and sticks and use the heat gun to press it down if you don't have uh, one of the little irons. Now, normally when I am using my, the other vinyl that I buy, I don't have to do this. The iron puts it on there, and there's no problem with it. 
Okay, there we go. Now we're going to put us some warm water and we're going to turn the iron off. I brought out my little beach tumbler to use to bring warm water. Y'all see my little, this is my personal tumbler and it's got my blue flip flops and it's a uh, beach please. I made that years ago. Okay, now there's two different uh, leopard prints. This is what the customer wanted was just the black and that's what we're going to be doing. But now this is another leopard print that I had somebody else that was asking about this design. So I just wanted to show you that one compared to this one so you could see. And either one of them uh, would be really pretty on the tumbler. And when you put this in, it does bring out the color in here where the black and gold's mixed. But I'll put one of each on there and then I'll take this one off so that you can sort of see what it looks like. But we're putting our leopard prints on with water slides and that's so much easier and then it's going to show and look like we've got it on there with the glitter. And I got some brushes from um, Southern Palmetto stainless steel tumblers. The tumbler we're using tonight is a 20 ounce stainless steel from Southern Palmetto and I really do like these tumblers and um, I ordered got some brushes and um, show you the brushes that they've got I'm real excited about them uh, these would be some that I would use when I was doing wood grain and uh, any of these can be used for anything like the other night when we were uh, doing some painting on one where we were doing the pencil cups and we needed the different sizes that's good for that and I like them because they're they don't have a long stem on them the ones that I showed you that I had used before, they were about this long, about this much longer. And I had to cut that part of it off. So anyway, cause it got in my way when I was trying to work. So these are, I think are gonna work really well. And then our glitter on this is from Black Bear Glitters. And um, the gold is Champagne Wishes and it's a fine. And the black is a Coal Creek Mine and it is a ultra fine so it's a beautiful black color beautiful but i'm going to put these on there side by side just so that you can see what they look like and then we'll take um one of them off the one that's got the brown in it because that's not what she asked for but that way you can sort of see what it looks like on the tumbler I'm using the brush just to lightly brush the water out. And I'm going to take that up a little bit right there. Get more covering up. I think it's going to fit right around it. lightly rubbing it with my paper towel and this is a, a dry paper towel in some cases you would want your paper towel a little bit wet but here I did not want it wet but I'm gonna put this one on there just to show you the difference in what they look like on the tumbler That way you can see them side by side and sort of see the difference in the way they look. I really like that one too. It looks good. But that one now I'm going to throw it away. I don't know. Maybe I can put it back on this and save it. We'll see. I've done that before and let it dry. 
Okay, now we're going to get the rest of these on here. And I went ahead and cut some of these apart so that I could put them in some big pieces and then go back in and space the ones that I've cut up smaller where I need them. And this way I can sort of pull it in around the name. Drying the water out of my brush. these in there and I think maybe I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of them up smaller because it looks like we may need some smaller ones and that way we'll have them ready Cut up right quick. Okay, that's looking nice. We're gonna try to hurry up and get this done so we can go over to the glitter cell. And then you just place these where you want them. Where you see a spot that you think you need them. And you don't want your uh, prints running off the side or the, I mean, the end or the top because well, you can trim them off, but if you don't have to, why do it that way when you take them right down close to the bottom where I've got it taped off? And then that way when I pull my tape off, once I get the epoxy on it, it's not going to show. <coughs> Excuse me. like putting a puzzle together, y'all. <coughs> Except you decide where you want it to go, where with a puzzle, it's got to go where it goes. Whether you want it there or not. And I did have some places that I had to sand. As you can see, there's just a few places that um, I had to sand it a little bit, so, but all that will shine right back up once we get the epoxy on it. <coughs> oh, goodness, I get a drink of water. cutting them up like that. That way I can put them right where I want them to do some fill in. Uh, I'm trying to brush that water away from the name want to do anything to cause it to come up and probably what I'll do after these water slides dry is spray it a little bit with um, some uh, Rust-Oleum 2x clear 
just so I make sure I seal this name on there and Potsy won't get under it and lift it. Because we do not want it to lift. And remember, I don't answer questions while I'm doing a live. Uh, I'll go back and answer some after the live is over. And um, then tomorrow, if I need to. But we'll get some answers. I think I'll take this one and cut it. I'll use that little one right there. Put that one back in the water. See, so right here's the spot where we need some, so let's see. Like it'll work. And I'm just blotting, I'm not rubbing. Because when you do them in small pieces like that, you don't want to rub them and get them misplaced. Let's see. I think maybe I may cut it and put a few right in here. But some of these have already come off, so I will have to just hold them up and cut them apart. Because I'm going to use some of the smaller pieces back down in the water. And I'm trying to be careful so I don't cut my spots. That one right there. And then this one I'm gonna cut it. And we'll put it right there. Let's see where this one will fit. Maybe right there. And I think that's all I'm gonna put on. I'll hold it back and take a look at it and see what I think. What do y'all think? Think that's enough? I think it is. Okay. And now this one, as soon as it dries, like I said, once the uh, water slides dry, then I'm going to take and spray it with some clear coat, with some Rust-Oleum. 2x clear gloss anytime I'm spraying anything with glitter I use gloss um, to me you have a matte you have a semi gloss and you have a gloss for a reason and the names tell you that a matte is gonna dull whatever it's on a semi gloss is gonna give it more of a satin type finish and then a gloss is gonna help keep it shiny so that's the reason I use a gloss anytime I'm spraying it on glitter or anything like this, water slides or whatever I'm doing. That's why I use that. Okay. Well, that's all we're going to do on this one tonight. We um, did the HTV to put the name on, and then we did our water slides uh, for the spots. And then once they dry, then I will go back and I will... Um, spray it with the Rust-Oleum 
2x gloss and I'm doing that simply because I don't want this to get any epoxy under it. I'm not worried about the water slides getting epoxy under them but now sometimes when you put a name on especially if it's HTV it will lift uh, when you get the epoxy on it. I don't know what it does or why it does it but sometimes it does that so I will be putting the the spray gloss on it once the water slides dry just to seal in that name so that when I put the epoxy on it it's not going to lift but that's what we've got on that one and then I will go back and show you the finished product and once I get the epoxy on it then I pull the tape off the bottom and I pull the tape off the top and then we'll do uh, some photos as a finished product and you can see what it looks like so I thank you for joining in, and if you've got any questions, just be sure and leave them in the comments, and we'll get you some answers either tonight or sometime tomorrow. So thank you for joining, and then we will announce what we'll be doing next week on our live, and we may do a pop-up live, you know, in the morning sometimes. Um, I'm at home working on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and Saturdays. But I work with my son on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I'm not available to do a lot on those two days. So, um, but we may do some morning lives, Wednesday morning, Friday morning. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to sort of see what we got going on. I do have a fishing lure tumbler that I just finished uh, for a customer that's um, a glow in the dark. I will put a picture of it on there. It turned out really good and I'll show it to you in a photo. So y'all have a good evening. Don't forget to hop over to Black Bear Glitters and see their live that they're gonna do tonight and uh, talk about their glitters and what they offer and the different types of glitters, the different uh, textures, the ultra fine, fine, coarse, and medium, and the mixes that they have, the micas, the glows, everything that they offer. And so, and if you need any uh, tumblers, be sure and use the code in capital letters. You will get a discount. You style. You style. And you'll get a discount on your cups. And then in Black Bear Glitters, if you're a first time buyer, you can use the code in all caps, Judy Roars 20, and get 20% off your first time order. Um, and then use the code in all caps, Judy Growls 10 and get 10% off for any orders after that. And I think there is a, a maybe a $20, you've got to get at least $20 or something like that. I'm not sure, but they can tell you. Um, and they may go over something like that tonight, I'm not sure. But anyway, y'all have a good evening, and I'll talk to you, and I will announce we're gonna be doing um, another live. So y'all have a great evening. Bye.